Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I'm excited to be working on my monthly color collaboration piece with Art by Julie E. She has already posted hers on Wednesday, and like a crazy person, uh, I did not uh, get my assignment done in time, so I'm running a couple days behind. I'm going to tag her video in the um, video description. I'd love for you to go check it out because the color that we uh, chose this month is bloodstone from this little piggy pigment it's a really interesting color because it's a brown with a with a definite red undertone to it really really cool but i you know kind of a difficult color to work with also so i've paired mine with uh this little piggy burnt sierra and also 24 karat gold by Deco Art. I'll show you the consistency using the, the gold. It might show up really well. All of these paints are mixed uh, so that they're a consistency that leaves a mound on a mound. And then uh, because I'm on a, a browns and blues kick, I also have, I'm using for my base coat color this beautiful um, sky blue light from Amsterdam. And then I have some leftover uh, dark turquoise here that I'm going to use. There's a bunch of other colors in here. I'm not sure what all's there, but it's a beautiful dark color and I think it's, it pairs really well. And this is Chroma Cool Acrylic Essentials in white, also mixed to a thick consistency. And I'm going to do a chaos ribbon swipe like my friend uh, Brian from the Studio 15 Acrylics is kind of famous for. Um, they're beautiful and I want to try that. So I'm using um, Amsterdam Titanium White and Floetrol, uh, Aussie Floetrol as my cell activator. And hopefully you can see this does leave the tiniest, tiniest little mound when drizzled off of the stir stick, but it is a much thinner consistency than the other paints. So it should create some cells and lacing. Although I'm a little worried because my I don't use the Aussie Floetrol very uh, often and it's a little old. So I gave it a good shake before I used it and uh, hopefully it will still do the magic. So I'm going to move my paints off to the side here and I'm going to put down a, a nice pillow of this uh, sky blue light. I'm not going to tilt it all the way across. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, you know, stretch it till it gets out to about this size. And then I'm gonna drizzle these uh, colors one on uh, one at a time on top of each other. And then I'm gonna use this really big spatula to swipe all the way across. One swipe, hopefully. I don't know which direction I'm going to go. Probably this way. Feels a little more natural to me. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put on some music for you and we'll get started.
are great. That bloodstone is amazing with this color palette. I love it. Some of my cells on the outside edge got a little overstretched, but I'm overall, I'm super happy with this. I love that dirt, dark turquoise and the white in there with the burnt sierra and the bloodstone. Gorgeous. It's a little darker than I was expecting. This, um, the white cell activator did its job. But, oh, wow, that looks like lizard skin or dragon skin right there. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. That's a little overstretched. And that section right there is a little overstretched. Although, I don't hate it. I think it's pretty cool. Look at the lacing in here. That's beautiful. Wow. I love all of that. That's gorgeous. I'm pretty happy with this. And you can see... Um, even with the little reflection that I've got from my overhead light, these TLPs are going to sparkle. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for the dry result. Here's the dry result of my Chaos Ribbon Swipe using Bloodstone from TLP, my color collaboration with art by Julie E. I'm really surprised how dark this turned out. I used a lot of white and my base was uh, sky blue light, but all of these darker colors really took over. I, it's beautiful, I love it, but it is darker than I was anticipating. But you can see, I, don't, I haven't even varnished this yet, but you can see uh, some of the sparkle on this. It's beautiful. I love that uh, Burnt Sierra also is a beautiful color. And I love the way that these cells on the outside edge here stretched out and got really long, really beautiful. This dragon skin in through here is beautiful too. I love that. Lots of turquoise. I did get a little bit of cracking down to the, um, 
the sky blue light there, but everything else dried really well. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video and go mix up some paint and be fearless.